Okay, so shaded part of the diagram below shows the top surface of an engine part. Yeah, um, so we've got here reflex angle BOC, which is this angle here. Okay, 240 degrees. Um, AO is no, is six centimeters. BO is three. So they're talking about the radius here. Okay. Now um, the length of the major arc it says AD is to be sealed by this strip. So AD is talking about this arc here. And when it says major, it just means obviously the larger part of this circumference, right? The minor arc is the bit that's sort of not there. Okay. M the arc here is major because it's it's uh, well, it's more than 180 degrees, isn't it? Okay, now we need to work out this arc length, okay, that's the question when you read it. Um, and to work out the arc length, um, you need to, first of all, the way I go about it is I work out the circumference of the full circle. Okay, so the circumference is pi times diameter. Now in this case it says in terms of pi, so we leave pi as it is, we won't write 3.14, we leave it like that, so that will be um, pi times diameter, and if you think about it, because it's this big circle here, the radius of this circle is um, 6, I think it said in, in the question, so then the diameter will be 12, so it'll be pi times 12, which we'd write as 12 pi, right? Okay, not 112, I don't know why I've written that there. Okay, so 12 pi, that's the answer, right, in the, of the circumference, um, in terms of pi, so 12, pi times 12, 12 pi, that's how you'd write it. Um, but we're not done, are we? Because that's the circumference. That's all the way around. I only want this bit here, okay, which is a fraction of the circumference, okay? So the arc um, AD, okay, the arc AD is just a fraction. And the fraction will be, um, of course, the angle, 240 degrees out of 360 degrees. So it's part, think of it as part of the circumference. And the part of it is 240 out of 360. So it's part of the circumference, and of course the circumference is 12 pi, so you're going to times that by 12 pi. All right? So you can work out the arc there based on this. Now non-calculators, so we need to simplify this, because the zeros will go, right? And 24 and 36, well, what goes into 24 and 36? Let's simplify that fraction first. 12, of course, goes into it, doesn't it? So, you know, I, I, you know, I wouldn't expect you to multiply these as, as they are, see? So I, I would try to simplify this fraction. So 12 goes into 24 twice, 12 goes into 36 three times, so you've got that. 2 thirds times 12 pi. 2 thirds of 12 is 8, isn't it? If you think about it, that's 8. Because, you know, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and double it then is 8. You find 1 third to begin with, which is, which is 4, and then 2 thirds is 8. So 8 pi, that's the arc AD. And if you read this question, they use a strip of 35 centimetres, and they cut off the length they need of AD. And then they want to work out what's left over. So to work out what's left over, you just do what you started with, which is 35, and you take away the 8 pi, which is the, um, the length of the arc AD. And that's it. That's your answer, right? You, you leave it like that. Don't simplify it. Um, you can't do any more to it, really, okay, um, than that. It's in terms of pi, and you've got your answer.